Daniela and Tilly and welcome to the Monday AM edition of AFL Today on Big Pond Sport. Big news from Windy Hill as the home and away season comes to an end and we preview the first week of finals footy. But first, Essendon coach Matthew Knights has been sacked. It comes a day after the Bombers' 29-point loss to the Western Bulldogs, their 10th defeat in 12 games. It caps off a disastrous season for the Dons, who finished in 14th. Knights had two years left on his contract. This has not been an easy decision, or one taken lightly. And I want to say to everybody at our club, from the members to our football department, to the executive and to the board, we all have a job to do over the coming years. There is a lot of hard work to be done. At the MCG, the final game of the home and away season was played out between Melbourne and North Melbourne. Despite both sides being out of the finals, the match was a chance to farewell retiring players. And the Kangaroos did just that for Corey Jones, North winning the battle for the best team out of the eight. No fairy tale finish for Ben Cousins at Richmond falling 10 points short of an amazing comeback against Port Adelaide after trailing by 59 points at three quarter time. It's Power's fifth win from seven games under caretaker coach Matthew Primus and it should secure him top job next season. Tigers forward Jack Revolt wins the Coleman medal, his three majors taking his season tally to 78. Sydney wrapped up a home final with a 38 point victory over Brisbane in Paul Roo's 200th game as coach. The Swans boasted 12 different goal kickers in their fourth straight triumph to finish in fifth spot. They'll now face eighth place Carlton this Sunday at ANZ Stadium. The Lions will officially launch a review after seven wins and 15 losses. The future of coach Michael Voss though appears safe. The Bulldogs secured fourth spot in Matthew Knight's last game as Essendon coach. Jared Grant starred with six goals for the Dogs who faced minor premiers Collingwood in Saturday night's qualifying final at the MCG. Third place St Kilda tackle second placed Geelong in Friday night's other qualifying final in what will also be a rematch of last year's grand final. The Saints suffered a 28 point upset to Adelaide who will miss the finals for the first time since 2004. Minor Premier Collingwood may be starting as favourites in their qualifying final but there was no joy against Hawthorne going down by thrilling three points. The Magpies conceded four late goals, that along with Dane Beam's failure to convert a free kick ended a nine game winning streak. To win the game for the Magpies and he misses, he's missed it. Hawks spearhead Lance Franklin kicked a season high six goals while Ciro Rioli was best to field. The 2008 Premiers finish in seventh after Sydney's win over the Lions. The Hawks now head west to play sixth place Fremantle at Subiaco. West Coast meanwhile collected the wooden spoon for the first time in club history, going down to defending Premiers Geelong by 44 points. Gary Ablett led the way with 33 possessions, four majors and four goal assists in perhaps his final game at the Cattery. And Saints utility Jason Blake and Big Pond Sports Lee Matthews have both backed Ablett to take out the Brownlow medal for a second straight year. He's played a number of really good games mm. and noticeable games. I think so too. I mean, he's such a high-profile player that the umpires will certainly, certainly notice him a bit more mm. than perhaps Dan Swan. So I think he's a big chance. Mark Harvey's gamble to rest virtually half of his best lineup last week paid off. The rejuvenated Dockers secured a home elimination final after downing Carlton by six points at Subiaco. Frio made 11 changes to the side that was thrashed by Hawthorne in round 21. Those fresh legs enough to hold off a late blue surge. To injury news and Daniel Bradshaw's bid to play finals footy is over. The Sydney forward aggravated his knee playing for the Swans reserves in Canberra. He's already been sidelined for three months. Bulldogs coach Rodney Ede remains confident Ryan Griffin and Tom Williams will be fit to face the Pies. Both sustained knee injuries during the win over the Bombers, along with Jordan Roughhead, whose shoulder popped again. The Dogs have already lost Brownlow medalist Adam Cooney and defender Dale Morris to long-term injuries, but Ede believes Sean Higgins, Easton Wood and skipper Brad Johnson could all be fit. No major injuries for Hawthorne or Collingwood, while Pies star midfielder Alan Didak is expected to return for the finals from a bruised shoulder. Carlton will be sweating on the fitness of Andrew Carazzo for the do-or-die clash with the Swans. The midfielder hobbled off with a hamstring problem during the narrow loss to Frio. St Kilda's only concern was Sam Fisher who received a cork hamstring. The defender is expected to be available for the qualifying final alongside goal sneak Stephen Milne who was a late withdrawal because of an ankle injury. And small forward Adam Schneider is also expected to return from a corked thigh. And that's all for now. Don't miss the PM edition of AFL Today with Nat Edwards at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. 
For a reminder how to access content on your mobile, simply press Big Pond on your Telstra Nextstream mobile and select Sport. You can also view content on your television through the Telstra T-Box. This digital set-top box, when connected to your eligible Big Pond broadband service, will give you access to all Big Pond Sport content direct to your TV. I'm Daniela Intilli. See you next time.